I draw my fair share of men. Most of the time, it's for research purposes. Don't get me wrong, I also draw women. I have some Genshin girl crushes or waifus if you will. I have drawn women in my previous videos. I don't know if you know this, but I'm not really proud of the end result. It's like something is missing in my women drawings. However, for today, I will draw a potential waifu of mine, Chiori. She was released recently, and I'm truly honored to be able to take part in promoting her thanks to my affiliate, Yomiholic. I pray to everything holy that Chiori will come home to my humble residence. For this video, I'm collaborating with Silver Pixia. We'll be doing the same pose challenge where you, well, draw the same pose, obviously. This is the pose we're using. I think this really suits Chiori because she is a cool and elegant character who wears gloves. You guys can draw along with us with this pose as reference, or you can also use any other references, it's up to you. Silver Pixia has a very cute art style. All her drawings are so pretty and detailed. They seem to have a lot of experience in drawing cute anime girls compared to yours truly. So please check out their channel if you wanna learn more to draw cute anime girls. Chiori's design is really elegant and mysterious, yet she has a cute and delicate appearance. This is what I'm trying to capture in my drawing, but as you know, my cute girl drawings are kinda eh. I'm trying to make the silhouette as feminine and as elegant as possible, however I think I just failed. No matter, we have liquify in Ivy's paint, so let's utilize that. I've seen comments saying my women drawings look like men. I think it's cool, but it kinda becomes a problem when I want to draw cute anime girls. Generally, cute looking characters have a lot of round shapes. That doesn't mean cute characters are all circles, but they typically have softer and curvier lines. That's why feminine and youthful full looking characters usually have rounder face compared to masculine character. For example, let's compare Chiori's design with Risley. Her face is rounder, her eyes are bigger, and her design has a lot of curves and circles, which makes her appearance cute. However, she also has a sharp element such as her hairpiece. So you know, you mess with her, she's gonna that's the sound of stabbing, by the way. I honestly really like this type of character gap, characters that look cute and adorable, but can also stab people when necessary. I'm trying to keep Chiori's face round and soft so she looks cute. Personally, I'm a fan of sharp angles. I love squares, triangles, sharp jawline, broad shoulders, square jaw, which are typically found in male characters. I used to suck at drawing male characters, by the way. I used to draw a lot of cute anime girls every day back in high school, which is years ago. Then I start practice drawing anime guys, and I think I went overboard because I realized that I can simp while I draw, so two birds with one stone. And when I tried to draw cute anime girls again, it was like, oh my, what broad shoulders you have, m'lady. Not saying cute girls can't have broad shoulders, but you know what I mean. Chiori is a great fashion designer. Just look at her character demo title, Chiori, thousand threads of brilliance, and her character teaser, Crimson Woven Heart. Even the titles are screaming fashion designer. I don't know how she's able to maintain being fashionable while, you know, stabbing monsters. And that doesn't apply to just Chiori, by the way. All Genshin women are like that. Maybe they're just born different. Now, last but not least, smile for the camera. My work brings in the customers, not my smile. But you've got such a pretty smile. That is so true. I should have drawn her with a smile, but I think I'll just make it creepy, and I don't want that. I'm really interested in knowing her backstory. It seems that she grew up in a quiet, strict household, but I mean, which Asian kid doesn't? Let's check out Silver Pixia's drawing progress, so we can learn more about how to draw cute anime girls. I think big eyes are essential in drawing cute girls, because a lot of people are drawn to big eyes, I guess, and not just big eyes, big, sparkly eyes. I have trouble drawing them since a lot of guys I'm drawing usually have smaller eyes so I don't put too much detail in them. Silver Pixia does an amazing job in coloring the eyes. They're colorful and sparkly yet they don't look out of place. Whenever I try to color the eyes with saturated colors and sparkles, they turn out really weird. I also hesitate a lot in exaggerating the size of the eyes because in anime usually they're taking up half the face and that's the thing that's holding me back from drawing cute looking girls. I also overthink a lot when drawing cute girls because I really want them to look as cute as possible, unlike the expressionless dudes I'm drawing. But at the same time, I also want to show the character gap because I don't just like cute pretty girls. 
I like cute girls who can fight people twice their size. So I would like the face to be cute and pretty, but I want the body to have that broadness, you know, the, the strength, because they fight people and monsters and rude ding-dongs. Seriously, if you watch Chiori's character teaser, you'll hate this dude. But Chiori handled him better than I would have. Hold on, I just found out that Chiori needs spectral items for her ascensions, which means I have to fight one of those mother floppers. For those of you who doesn't play Genshin, well, play it so you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, in this drawing, I want to show that cool and strong side of her while maintaining her cute appearance. So I don't want to make her body too small and frail. Whenever I draw men, I like to make them big and broad. For example, this old drawing of shirtless Al Hatem, I want them bigger. Yeah, that's right. I like them big. I think because of this mindset, I always ended up drawing cute girls with broad shoulders. But I don't think everyone should mind. Cute girls with broad shoulders are cool. As you may notice, my drawing is much more stylized this time because I want to implement more anime style. So the shading is much simpler and I don't pay much attention to realistic rendering. For this drawing, I pay much more attention to her clothes because of course it won't be Genshin's character design if it's not detailed. But since I only draw half body, I focus more on her hair piece especially the big flower on her head. I also focus on her hairstyle. It looks really stylish, by the way. I also want to experiment with her makeup. I absolutely love her eyeshadows. But I will apply some base colors first in Procreate. I always start with dull colors, even when coloring grayscale painting, because it will be easier to apply more saturated colors later on. I use Procreate instead of Ibis Paint for this because they have tone curve and their color balance is much more comprehensive. Ibis Paint has tone curve as well, but you have to pay for it. Now that I see it closely, I think Chiori's eyeshadow is more orange than it is red. The color really suits her entire color palette. Adding some blush near the eyes will also make the character more youthful and cute. I don't want to overdo her lipstick though. I'll keep it light so she doesn't look like a middle-aged woman. Oh wait, I'm supposed to add background to this. I did some Genshin background studies couple months ago, and I did quite alright in drawing background. So I will open Genshin Impact, go to Inazuma, and change it to nighttime. Silver Pixia will do daytime background, so be sure to check their work later on. Okay, I think this place looks good, so let's take a picture. Now we go back to Procreate, and there we go. Done. Yeah, seriously, that's it. Sorry, but I'm too lazy. I'll do another background study later in the far, far future. So have you guys pulled for Chiori yet? I'm planning to fully build her if and when she comes home. I want to pull for her weapon as well because I think weapons are very crucial to fully build your character. Anyway, thank you so much to my affiliate, Yomi Holic, for this amazing opportunity to be part of Chiori's promotion. It was fun doing this challenge with Silver Pixia. Again, be sure to check out their account and their works. They did an amazing work on Chiori's promotion motion as well and that's about